just last year. <laughs> and um, just set it back there by the behind the escort and let it sit for a while. Drug it back out now because I got another engine to nab parts from. I figured there had to be something wrong with the compression considering how this was acting. It was almost starting and then out starting. So I took all that off, everything off, pretty much. It was left with a block with a piston sticking out of it. And took the cylinders off. Some of them were kind of stuck. And I found two exhaust valves, one intake valve, and Well, the valves were leaking, the two exhaust valves and the intake valve, and then uh, one of the piston rings, along with two oil rings. So I replaced all those with parts from that other engine I got. Uh, ground the valve seats so they're <clears throat> actually sealed. And with what little work I can get done with my cast on, I've gotten this side of the engine back together. It's missing one nut on the intake on the carb. And there is the remains of a piston ring stuck on that piston. The front piston ring is stuck in there. Well, half of it. So I'm going to try to heat that piston up and get that out so I can replace it and put a cylinder back on it, head back on it, carb, and while well, the oil cooler thing that goes up top there. And then try to fire it back up again. To see if it'll run this time. Now I actually got a fuel pump on it as well because that wasn't on this engine. It was on the other one. Took out that. Make it a bit a little bit easier. Now get all that fixed and get it running. And we'll see what kind of a fun little thing this is gonna be. Now that is the original front seat from my escort. It was in that when I got it. It wasn't this bad, but it's been outside in the snow all winter. Buried, as you can see in the last video I made of this thing. Now, has these gauges, none of them are hooked up. There used to be a light on this thing. Which is what these switches are. Now that, to the left, is the ignition switch, and the press push button one there is the starter. Now, yeah, screwdriver, shifter, whatever. And they shorten this thing about straight over here, so the, there's no chassis number in this thing anymore, which means it's not worth jack shit. Now, they also shortened this thing, which I'm a bit worried about, but it seems to be an okay weld, so it just might hold. We'll hope so. There are brakes on it, and there's a clutch accelerator and I'm thinking maybe trying to figure out something with that brake line there because the hose is popped out of there so there's no brakes on this side I just might block this side off have front brakes and one rear that's okay for me because it's just it's just gonna be well flogged on the field anyway we'll just have to see what happens I just might put this thing up for sale as well. So, I mean, I don't really have much use for it. Although, it's gonna be fun. Anyway, that's it for this Beal Go Kart Porsche 911 thing for now. And there sure is. Yep, there sure is gonna be a video when this thing fires up and is actually hoonable. So that's it for now, I'll see y'all later.